Hi Scorpio, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and I hope you are safe and well and thank you if you're a cyber angel thank you very much for your shares and likes and I hope you are well in this time I think the change is here now the new new time there's new things happening the borders are opening up and wow 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 I'm only uh, I am happy because you most probably know by now if you're a faithful follower that I've got my decks that I've been waiting for for nine weeks so just I've got some interesting news for you exciting news and I you know I like to um, uh, get in interact with my uh, viewers so I've got some nice news as well okay and if you're new then welcome to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified when I go live I go live usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something uh, comes in between and I haven't got time to let you know so um, just click on uh, the bell and click on all then you'll be notified okay now remember if you want to be cy a cyber angel or become a cyber angel then join us in the tea room in the live sessions um, it is absolutely fantastic and I would like to thank all my cyber angels for being so beautiful calm and patient and uh, respectful towards each other and me okay um, um, it is appreciated very much thank you um, now for the new people and for my cyber angels remember this is a general reading and uh, if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign or your rising sign um, also um, if you would like to get an extensive reading have a look underneath the uh, video in the description box and there you will see the information or in the right hand corner I think that's this side on for you um, on here in the right hand corner uh, there is a white button and you can click on that and you can go through to the website and there you'll see different types of readings okay and more information and there I will be placing updates this week okay now the good news is with the compliments of the publish uh, publishers Schiffer uh, Schiffer Publishers uh, and Red Feather that is a sister company you can earn or win one of these decks the Shadowlands the Shadowland Tarot from Monica Bodersky but you'll have to work for it because they're very expensive cards and they're really well made it, they're worth forty dollars okay you get the book you can see the review on the channel on the YouTube channel and if you're not a reader but you know a reader and you think you might have a good chance to win then uh, this is the book that you get even if they're beginners they have step-by-step -step information the key the card the keywords and the reversals they call it the shadow uh, because this deck is called the shadow lands so it's the shadow side and you will get into what shadow is and blah 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 the messages uh, about the whole card and you can have questions reflections they are called in this book and you if you're a reader then you can ask these questions to your querent and give them tasks to do and um, you can help and support people by giving them and asking these questions what do you think about this reflect about a card like um, am I a good lover that could be one of the questions you get to learn how to ask correct questions and what I mean by correct questions is open questions so people will have to answer you with a a question uh, with a full sentence and not with I don't know or yes or no um, what do I want and need right now in my life um, because you might want to 
be in love and have a lover? What type of person or people do I want to spend my time with? In work or as friends or as a lover? Are there two choices I'm, I'm ignoring right now? Okay. What do the words passion, romance, of partnership or partnership mean to me? These are the two. Uh, this is the type of question you can ask your querent when they come to you for a reading. How do I receive or perceive and offer love? So you're going to get a big, fat, thick book with it, and it is. It will keep you interested and laughing because I've been giggling and <laughs> and laughing throughout the readings because this deck is so quirky so funny and so detailed you get a lot of messages from the cards not just the basic meanings all that said keep an eye on my website and if you join in the competition I hope you will enjoy it and um, we'll see how it goes and there will be more competitions after the summer okay or things to win a deck okay your f this is your reading Scorpio for the 25th to the 31st of May and we're in Gemini now so happy birthday if you have a Gemini a partner child or friend it is a very energetic and it might be a period whether you will you you will gain a lot of knowledge or you might be con conversing quite a lot okay you've got the five of cups here the five of cups and here the monster looks really white oh no not that again I've got the five of cups but look at his expression on his face he's fed up he he feels or he looks defeated well don't be defeated uh, the five of cups means that there are still two cups standing okay in this case it is two paint pots two paint pots and three have fallen over so don't cry over spilled milk you can't change the past let the past go you can only change the present and the future stand in your strength now this is the uh, Lenormand card on the Lenormand version of Monica and it's a flea wearing a dog's mask <laughs> I love her sense of humor okay like he's holding on to a friend or to the flea or to the dog and uh, the interpretation and the humor of Monica is who is the host here is the flea the host or is the dog the host to the flea where is the loyalty where does loyalty lie and I th this is what I mean it's so simple you've got so much you can get from it you can get the basic meaning from it and you can see things from it but are you holding on to the past okay don't be a host to the past let it go let it go you, the dog will f if it's loyal it will follow you but there might be a friend of yours that is loyal trustworthy and that's what you're seeing now okay there will be a friend something will change like I said you can change the future and the present there might be a friend around you that's loyal trustworthy and luck is on your side there is an ending to dismay okay an 18 becomes a 9 so where there is an ending there is a new beginning Ooh, you might even see a friend as a potential lover as you've got the lovers and you know it also means soulmates but it doesn't have to be a lover a Gemini could uh, lovers could be a Gemini so you might fall in love with a Gemini okay that you didn't see before okay number six you are in balance you could be meeting a Gemini man or uh, um, and when with the man I always get the feeling it could because the cards have no sex right but this is the man and it's a 10 2 and 8 is 10 so it's a new beginning 
It could be an, uh, 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 a new man, but it can also be a, a Gemini friend that is a man or a, a lady. If you are the lady, then you could meet a, a man, but if you're a man, you could meet a lady. And a man, what are the... Uh, how how is the man portrayed the man is portrayed of being the breadwinner to be the head of the family to steadfast business like so you might even meet a lady that is career orientated steadfast and uh, career orientated business okay that's a strong feisty lady okay so if you are a man you could meet a career orientated lady or when you're a lady, you could be meeting a Gemini man. Both are Geminis, in which way ever. Okay. Boom! I love it. That could be midweek. But remember, time is man-made, so it could be all through the week. And on Friday, you've got the Ace of Cups. Your cup flows over. This could be new love. Like I said, the lovers is lying next to it. So, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, a Pisces, any star sign, but this is the prominent sign, okay? That is the Lovers, that's the Gemini, and the Water signs, okay? So, it might be new love, new passion, something you might love or be passionate about. If it isn't a relationship, you could be nurturing it, and you might start nurturing yourself trying to make yourself look really good and sexy and voluptuous as um, that is all uh, also um, a thing of the water signs sexuality and sensuality voluptuous richness wow and you've got the sun on you boom on that new start and you're in the spotlight you might even have Leo um, fancying you Ooh, could be somebody Ooh, ooh, ooh nice 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 okay uh, new beginnings hearing of a birth could be of a child could be of a project and or a new project a love project <laughs> or a nurturing project a hobby okay so uh, the sun has also is a spotlight so a, sp a spotlight illuminates so uh, a question or a situation is illuminated whatever happens this is a positive card perhaps a promotion a next level in a relationship okay even if it's just a new relationship you might jump in straight ahead. boom I'm engaged after a week <laughs> Okay, well, uh, you've got 31, so that is stability. Stability, and this will be a stable relationship. Could be with a Leo, okay? Then you've got the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, that is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. He will bring you news. So the Knight brings you news, but you could also be meeting the Knights. Ooh, 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 this is long-term news. Okay, Scorpio, I think that's wonderful. Slow but steady, okay? That is definitely very good, represented very well by the snail. I love it. Okay, now you've got the fox. Somebody very sly or ooh, analytical. Ooh is wearing a mask so be careful a fox sheds his fur but not his streaks so don't it's like little red riding hood <laughs> being um charmed by the the wolf but in this case the fox and he's wearing a mask hiding his face so don't take everybody uh f at face value be warned forewarned is forearmed but this could also be this could be news about um, a wage rise, a job, something new. It could be your boss that's not telling you he's keeping an eye on you and watching you how you're doing your work. So cross your teeth, dot your eyes, work to detail and precision, 
and you will get that pay rise. Okay. Don't get out of balance because it's 14 is 5. So don't get out of balance. Now, the overall energy is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is Libra. Libra. The King of Swords is Gemini, but don't exclude all the other signs. Okay? Here you've got Leo, could be Aries, could be Sagittarius. Again, don't exclude it. I said here it is Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, but don't, you know, and here Gemini, but don't exclude all the other signs. And they're popping up now. You've got the, um, the water signs, earth signs, and the fire signs, and the air signs. Wow. So basically, you've got Gemini, you've got Libra, you've got Leo, uh, you've got all the water signs and the pentacle signs. Okay. So this Libra or this air sign, the Queen of Swords, she loves wisdom. She stands for wisdom, communication, and justice, honesty, and clarity. So she might give you some clarity. Okay, you might meet a queen of the air, a Libra in particular, and she might become your new partner because there's a new beginning, okay, of love and passion. Ooh, it, it might be somebody that you're you didn't even cross your mind eh? or it could be a Scorpio as we've got the coffin okay you're in a transform a transformational time this is not real death you're leaving the past behind but make sure you know all there is to know the information okay if you're signing contracts for anything look at the small print cover your back cover your back learn from the past don't go into the same situations as in the past. You can change the present and the future. It's up to you. Get the right information. Eight is the house of money and power. So you might be coming into money, like I said, because you might have a job or a rice. Something, it, your cup is flowing over of luck this week. Now, we've got the fox, we've got the fox twice. This is the new Lenormand deck that I have, the Mirror Truth. So this is a double warning, okay? In this deck it's number 14, and in this deck it's also number 14, the Lenormand number, but you've also got the Nine of Clover, the Nine of Wands. You've been through the walls, so don't repeat. Learn from the past. A fox sheds his fur but not his streaks you cannot change somebody they will always stay the same remember that i know that when you're in love you don't want to hear that but it is true and we we uh, when we're in love or when we fancy somebody because there's a new love coming in we look through a rose colored glasses so learn from the past don't get hurt again be on your guard watch out for detail uh, where was it watch out for detail get all the information learn use your wisdom like the queen of swords she's looking in into a bookcase she wants to get knowledge she wants to go cut straight through to the core and get to the truth or something get more knowledge so get to know a person if you're meeting a new person if you're not hooked up okay now you've got aura lights as the stone and that is the spirit uh, crystal uh, that's the spirit in the crystal aura lights Number eight, mindfulness, meditation on the present. So meditate on this moment in the here and now. 
did I say? You can change the present and the future. Let the past go. Again with the dog, don't hold on to the past. Don't be a host to somebody else's drama or um, manipulation. To be mindful is to be aware of the now rather than distracted by the past or future and my thoughts of ought, should or might be or might haves. Your quest for healing requires discovering what you are truly thinking and feeling when you are not distracting yourself. Aura Light Spirit calls you to be mindful of your needs right now, for this may be the time to let tears flow or laughter arise, to recognize something so subtle that you previously missed. Okay, um, I'm not going too much into the crystal. You can um, you can get this crystal on Pinterest. Just type in the crystal spirits and from Collard Baron Reed and Aura Lights. Number eight, you're coming back into your strength if you haven't already. And there's money coming to you because it's the house of strength and money. Justice will be done. You've got the justice cards, so this is a Libra. So the air signs are prominent here, okay? We've got Gemini, we've got Libra here, the Queen, and we've got the Justice card, Libra. Now I can't see Aquarius, you haven't got the star, okay. But justice will be done. If you're in a judicial situation, you will get what you deserve and so will they. Okay, now I've got a message from Spirit and it says, with love. But that's not the only message. Look what Spirit has given for you. Dear Scorpio, check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation desire or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek. Like safety or whol wholeness, know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled into the direction your soul calls you toward joy, discovery and growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward, surrender to whatever spirit has in store for you. You will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. Li life loves you more than you know. And that is your message. Justice will be done. You'll get what you need and what you deserve, so long your motives are pure in heart. So get into your strength. Just be forewarned, there might be somebody around, okay, that ha does not have your interests at heart. You have received this message, be pure of heart and do everything in the right way and you will receive abundance. Wow! Your cup will flow over. Okay? You will get the message. 
you might meet a new lover if you're not hooked up. And if you are hooked up, then you know that it is your soulmate. Awesome. Okay. I love the reading. Please give me your thumbs up and your likes and shares with family and friends. I wish you a great week. Take care and be blessed.